So do you own a timeshare in Florida? And you're wondering what this waiving of fully funded reserves actually means that you're seeing on your ballot or on your proxy that you received for your annual meeting? Well, I'm gonna do my best to try and explain it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare, I'm Jeremy. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that you might have seen if you own a timeshare in Florida. I'm not sure if any other states really have this, but in Florida, you might see on your annual meeting ballot or proxy that you need to vote for something called waiving of fully funded reserves. This is kind of complicated, kind of confusing. I'm not even sure I fully understand it myself, but what this is is a situation where in Florida, there's some specific statutes that require homeowners associations at condominiums, which timeshares are essentially condominiums with homeowners associations, just happens to be broken up with a lot more owners involved, but there is a need to essentially fully fund your reserves for that condominium. So the state of Florida has some specific requirements and specific statutes that have the total life for certain things like roof replacement, painting, furnishings, all that kind of thing, and essentially what it would require in order to fully fund those so they can be essentially replaced after their useful life. Now this is based on very specific statutory requirements and what most timeshares do, they actually go out and get a reserve study done because these statutes are very specific and they're not really based on true cash flow of money coming in, money going out. What they do, essentially they go out and get a reserve study and say, hey, this roof, it has another, say, 20 years on it where maybe the statute says, hey, you have to replace it within 10 years. So what they do, they use this reserve study to determine how long the useful life of these certain fixtures, building painting, parking lot resurfacing, roof replacement, all those kinds of things, and how much it will cost to replace them over time using kind of different cash flow forecasting. So what the board of directors is maybe asking you to do here and probably recommending in most cases is they're asking you to vote to waive the fully funding of reserves based on state statutes and requirements and essentially go with what they've determined are the proper funding levels and requirements. So you vote and say, hey, we wanna waive the fully funding of reserves. If that passes, well, it can essentially save the owners and the homeowners association a lot of money, preventing them from having to put a lot of money into the reserve fund. Now, what some people might be worried about here is, hey, if we're waiving the fully funding of reserves, there might at some point be a special assessment coming along because we haven't been putting enough money in there. Well, if the homeowners association, the board of directors is doing its due diligence, getting those reserve studies done shouldn't really be too much of an issue. We own at Marriott's Grand Vista. The resort is 25 years old. And as far as I can tell, they've waived the fully funding of reserves every single year. At least until now, we've never had a special assessment. So not really sure there's too much of a concern there as long as the board of directors and the homeowners association is doing those reserve studies, properly forecasting the cash flow that's needed in order to make those capital improvements and repairs on the buildings, inside the units, the common areas, the parking lots, the pools, all that kind of thing. So hopefully this clears up any confusion that you might've had about what this means, waiving fully funding of reserves. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. To see more videos all about timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another video about timeshare, hey, we might just put a random one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.